Hi everyone, I'm Christiana, and today I'm going to be presenting you Racisms by Kwame Anthony Apia. Apia is a professor of philosophy and law at New York University. He describes racialism as a grouping people together who have characteristics that are inherited. The most common grouping would most likely be skin color. He doesn't necessarily believe this is wrong because it is just a way to classify people. His message is that these groupings are which lead to the harmful effects of racism. The two harmful effects of racism that he speaks on are extrinsic and intrinsic racism. He states in his writing, Intrinsic racists make moral distinctions between members of different races because they believe that the racial essence entails certain morally relevant qualities. For example, he means that since you are a part of that group, you are a liar and they basically make assumptions based on what they morally believe about you. Intrinsic racisms hold groups of people to a certain moral standard. We can relate intrinsic racism to slavery. During that period, white folks made a judgment that all non-white people were bad, simply just due to their skin color. They had no logical re reasoning for this action. They believed that since they were in the same racial group, they were all morally similar. Toward the end of his essay, he states that intrinsic racism is a moral error, and it's clear that he objects to this and believes that everyone should be treated equally. Another interesting point I found in his essay was he mentions a cognitive incapacity. He believes that extrinsic racists have a cognitive capacity because it is impossible for them to change their thinking. No matter the evidence given, no matter the evidence given to them, they stick to their beliefs. The moral theory I decided to relate this essay to is relativism. Relativism is a theory that there is not an absolute truth, but that people make their own truths per se. Just because one thing is morally, morally correct in one culture does not make it morally correct in others. This relates to this article because he is talking about treating others differently based on their moral beliefs and simply just their race. It is true that every individual has their own beliefs, but one can object to this and give the argument that this is what actually causes racism. People will form their beliefs based on what they are given. Their beliefs could be assuming something that is not necessarily true, and relativism lacks morally wrong and rights which will lead to false assumptions. In conclusion, Apia divides racism into three doctrines, racialism, intrinsic, and extrinsic. Racial racialism is not necessarily wrong, but intrinsic and extrinsic is unjustifiable. He does a great way of explaining this, and I recommend everyone to read it. Have a good day.